Hi guys, so you're here, welcome to another Minecraft Modern Tutorial for 1.10. Today I'm going to teach you how to add a block to the game. So this is actually quite easy as well. We can use some of the methods that we made last time. And all it is, is in our init package you want to do mod blocks. And spell it correctly. Uh, I can just rename this. Which is okay. And like before we need a public static void init. You need a public static void register. A public static void register renders. Uh, now we're going to have a register and register block and register render method. So public static void register block. And this takes in a block. So block, block. Open this up. And public static void register render and that takes in a block block like so I just want to import block from net.minecraft.block and in register block it's just game registry dot register and you just put in the block it's as simple as that and like before we're going to do utils dot get logger dot info and you're going to registered block colon and add block dot get on localized name dot substring five i explained why it's substring five last time now register render same way as before so model loader dot set custom model resource location the item is actually item dot get item from block block metadata is zero the model is a new model resource location going to take in the one that does resource location it's a new resource location one that takes in a domain reference dot mod id and resource path in is just block dot get on localized name dot substring five and here is just inventory like so and yet again we're just going to do utils dot get logger dot info string and registered render for and then do add and block dot get on localized name dot substring five now we actually have to create our class for our block so it's just a new package dot blocks and inside here we're going to add a block it's going to be a tin or so block tin or like so this must extend a block. Control Shift O to import this. Net.minecraft.block. This will make us want to add a constructor. Now it's going to take in a material. We don't want that material taken in here. We just want to do material dot. And then we want rock, which is just a rock material. You can change this. Have a look at them. Just choose what you want. Now we're going to take in the unlocalized name. So string unlocalized name and string registry name like before this dot set unlocalized name unlocalized name and this dot set registry name and that's just a uh, new resource location so new resource location one that takes in a domain and it, it's just reference dot mod id resource pack in is just a registry name as simple as that so yeah, that, that's the basis of our block. Now in here, like before we did with the items, we need a public static block. And I'm going to call it tin underscore or. And tin underscore or equals a new block tin or. And localized name is tin underscore or. Registry name is tin underscore or. I spelt tin wrong here. Register is just register block tin or and register render is just register render tin or. Now we need to actually put these in the client proxy as well. So mod blocks dot and register renders in bit of everything. We want to do after mod items dot init. So mod blocks dot init and then here we're just going to do mod blocks dot register like so. And that will just do all that. 
Now, we're just going to go straight into the lang file. Now, all of our blocks, it's going to be a tile, then the unlocalized name. So, tin underscore or dot name is equal to tin or, like so. Then, we need to actually create a model for it. But, we actually go back to here, we actually need to make a block state. So, new folder, and call it block state. Inside here, I'm going to do a new text document and it's actually going to be the registry name so tin underscore or dot json we're going to be doing json again and i'm doing this in notepad plus plus again you can do this in normal notepad and what you want to do is variants and colon open it up and for us just normal colon and then you want to open up these brackets and inside here you want to do model colon and then the model file name and here you just want to do bui colon and it's all it is in here is tin underscore or which is what we're going to call our model our model is really easy to do so just want to go to bui models make a new folder called block in here you want a new text document and it's going to be tin underscore or dot json open this up and just want to do parent colon and that's just block slash cube underscore all add a comma to this we want to do textures colon open it up inside here you want to just do all and do and it's just going to be uh, boe colon blocks slash tin underscore or now this is just a default block model you can create your own there is some model creators on the internet I'll let you guys look at that now what we want to do is just go back over to here i want to go to models item and you want to create a new you have to make an item model as well so a new text document and it's going to be tin underscore or dot json open this up and all it is is parent colon and all it is is boe your mod id and then it's just blocks slash block slash and it's tin underscore or this is just telling it to get the model from tin underscore or in the blocks folder and then all we need is a texture so in textures you want a new folder call it blocks and just create a new texture i would have got a texture made for this i'll show you that in a second so here is my texture it just looks like this you'll see this in game that's the tin underscore or texture and all we need to do is just well we don't need to refresh it actually it's already done for us which is amazing now all we need to do now is just run the game everything should now work so let's just wait for the game to load up okay so it was actually something that i forgot it's actually game registry here dot register and what it is is a new item block and this takes in the block like so and you need to do dot set registry name and all it is is block dot get registry name and like so now that will make sure that we get our item for our block now in here what we need to do is this dot set hardness and i'm just going to set the hardness to i don't know 20 and this dot set resistance and i was going to set this to 20 and then all we need to do is add another method here get item dropped and press control space and get item dropped here and all we need to do is item dot get item from block this okay so the game is loaded up so let's just go into our test world here and hopefully the block drops an item 
I believe I know what it is. I probably haven't changed it correctly. Again, so slash give at p tin and score or press tab 64. We should get another one. Come on. And there you go. It actually gives it us. So there you go. It now works. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am out.